Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create that perfect looking skin and of course we're going to use makeup for that. I show you how to apply your base in every single one of my videos but this is going to be an in-depth video. I'm going to show you exactly how products work, why I'm doing the steps that I'm doing. So this is what this video is all about. Before we get into it, please make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button so you be notified whenever I'm posting new video. I also want to mention that I have a French dog at my place for the next two weeks and he's a French bulldog so he's snoring a lot <laughs> and I try to like lock him in the other room but he's been crying and it just breaks my heart. I cannot leave him in there. So if you're hearing some <sighs> it's from Alfie. Let's get started. I like to start with the Brightening CC Serum from By Thierry. And there are a lot of products that do the same thing, but this one is very gentle, like very soft. It's not very glittery. There are a lot of products like this that are a little bit too metallic. This one is a great one along with the Charlotte Tilbury. If you already have that one, also that's amazing. Um, let me show you what this looks like up close on my hand. So this is in the color Apricot Glow. Can you see how finely milled this is? It's not metallic at all. It really gives you a glow. It has the exact consistency of a serum. If you have the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, this is also amazing. I just wanted to show you like the difference between these two. This is a little bit more metallic and it's also much more, I wouldn't say oily, but it feels more hydrating than the other one. So maybe if you have very oily skin type, I would stay away from this formula and I would go more towards the By Terry. And if you are more dry or dehydrated, this formula is having, like I said, not greasy but literally do this all day long with the by terry kind of gets absorbed into the skin like i said it's like a serum formula so i'm gonna apply the by terry cc serum with my fingers as you can see this has you know beautiful very subtle shine and when we talk about perfecting the skin and when i said you know like perfect looking skin i didn't mean like apply as much product as you can. Uh, I meant like perfect natural looking skin, you know? So that's why we're doing all these tricks before, you know, using foundation. Because, you know, it's easy. You apply foundation, you create a perfect blank canvas, you know, but sometimes the foundation can be very visible on the skin and we don't want that. So next I'm going to use the Biteri Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. This has SPF 30. It makes a great everyday foundation. This is a, the perfect balance between having a super natural looking foundation with a maximum coverage. Like this would give you the maximum coverage a natural looking foundation it could possibly give you. It's a very velvety foundation, very liquidy as in terms of consistency, available in 15 shades. I'm using 300W. As you can see, I self tan and I really scrub because I've applied a little bit too much on, on this hand, um, but it'll go away in like two days, hopefully. But anyway, you could tell that I'm, I'm darker on my body, so we're going to balance that with slightly uh, warmer and darker foundation, so that's why I'm using 300W. This foundation comes with this pipette, and like I said, it's very, very liquidy. Let me show you up close what this foundation does and how much you can use like just one drop it has the most velvety consistency i've ever tried can you see like it's invisible and what i also wanted to show you is that you can still see the skin sometimes foundation are completely like covering the texture of the skin not with this one shake it really well before you use it now I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge. You could apply this foundation with your fingers, for sure. But 
This is what the foundation looks like up close. It's incredibly natural looking. And as you can see that serum that I've applied underneath, you can still see peeking it through like right here. You know, the highest parts of the face, you can see it better. I truly, truly love this foundation. It's not just the foundation that makes this nice finish. It's the combination between the brightening serum, the foundation, and the way you apply it. So if you want to have a very even application of the foundation, I do suggest you to use a sponge, a beauty sponge, a beauty blender. It doesn't matter what sponge you use, as long as it's a hydrophilic one, it has a, a nice soft finish. Now, if you happen to have dark circles, and if you've tried a lot of concealers and they look gray or you just don't know how to cover them. I suggest you to use a color correcting product first. This is what I'm gonna use today. It's the one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in two medium. So as you can see, the color is a little bit more like a light salmon. So I'm going to take it with my finger. Actually, let me take it with a brush so you can see better. I'll just take it with this Zoeva brush. The consistency is very light and you see the color is not like super dark. It will correct the darkness under the eyes. As you can see, it almost covered the veins that I had right here. Look at this. I only apply it where I need it. So only where I'm darker, right here, inner corner, and it corrected the color. Now you can go ahead and conceal, and this is where the concealer comes and do its job. I'm going to use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This has huge coverage, but however, it's a very hydrating concealer. It has hyaluronic acid, looks like this. I love the applicator. It's a big, chunky applicator. I've put the concealer on the back of my hand, and now I take it with the same brush. And again, I apply this only where I need it. Like in the inner corner where I'm usually very dark. Now with the concealer, you could create that beautiful clean canvas. Now, I don't have any big obvious imperfections right now, but if I did, I would have taken a very, very small, almost like an eyeliner brush, and I would have concealed only those imperfections. Now, after I've applied concealer, I like to take the beauty sponge. You know, I wanna take the excess just in case, you know, there was a little bit too much product. You guys know I typically like to use the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate when it comes to cream contour. However, with this foundation, I noticed that actually the Huda Beauty Tantour just works better. I don't know, they have very similar finish, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna use, the Huda Beauty Tantour in the color light. The foundation having more of a soft matte finish works better with a contour, with a cream contour that also has, you know, a soft matte finish. The Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, the one that I always use, it has a very dewy, super, super dewy finish, which I love as well. So this is what the Huda Beauty is like on my hand. You see, it's not crazy dewy, it's not crazy matte. Like I said, it's a soft matte finish. And I'm starting from the hairline, like right from the hairline. And I do very, very gentle strokes. And I do very, very gentle movements, like right under the cheekbone. That's where you want to place this product. I think the key to a perfect contour is to see no lines. You don't get to see, you know, where the contour starts, where it ends. It has to really, really look like a shadow. Now, in order to give you that very pulled, eye trick in order to give your eyes a little bit more like a you know pulled situation you could take the contour since we're here you see it gives that very elongated kind of a shape for your eyes when you contour the forehead i suggest you to do it like super super close to the hairline this is what the skin looks like a little bit further away and i wanted you guys to have more like a whole look situation okay now let's get closer and apply blush i will use the glossier cloud paint and this is in puff but if you have a beautiful lipstick liquid lipstick especially that you like that makes a great blush look at this pretty color this is a misa m004 brush 
And as you can see, this is a little bit like see-through. It's not a crazy opaque kind of a product. With some foundations, the product allows you to be more like spread like this, but with this foundation, I suggest you to just dab it so that you don't disturb it underneath the blush. You see, it gives you that beautiful rosy cheek that we are all looking for, I guess. We all want to look fresh. Now it's time to set everything, and if you're looking for the most natural looking powder, I suggest you the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Tinted Powder. Now this video is not sponsored by by Terry, I honestly wished because I really love their brand and products, uh, but no, it's not sponsored. Um, so we're gonna move on with this powder. This is in number 100, and I'm going to take it with this. I love this brush. This is the Misa, I guess it's called One. It doesn't have any number on it, it says just Misa and then Misa Y, Misa I. This is a brand created by a fellow makeup artist that I really appreciate. The most important thing before you set your concealer with powder is to check if there is any product that creased. So do this step first, make sure there is no product that creased because if it did and then you go on with the powder, it's going to look so bad. Check this out first and then take a little bit of powder and start dabbing. Don't do like this, okay? Like don't rub it, just dab it. Be gentle. I also like to apply powder around the nose. I do like to apply some powder on the chin as well, but then I leave, you know, the rest of the skin pretty powder free. I'm going to move on with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light. This is in the color 30. And I want to show you the finish of this product. Again, this is one of those products that can be used, you know, as a base or it can be used to be mixed with your foundation. However, the way I like to use this is to create that beautiful shine of the skin, but like very, very natural. I mean, obviously I have a lot of lights in here, so it's going to reflect in front of the light a lot, but this is super natural, guys. It really, really looks like skin. Plus this color, 30, like if you have similar skin tone with mine, you could be darker, you could be uh, lighter, not much lighter, not much darker, because this really is versatile. It, this really works with um, quite a lot of skin tones. So I'll take the back of the beauty sponge I mean, you could apply this with your fingers, but since I have the beauty sponge right here, I mean, why not? And I dab it. I mean, can you see how super natural this is? You have to think about the highest points of the face as being like highlighted. It's which usually where there's bone. So highest parts of the cheek and then a little bit above your eyebrow. If you want, you could also apply it a little bit right here. Cupid's bow. It's always very sexy in here. Out of all the cream highlighters that I have used, I think this one is the most natural. Setting your makeup with a setting spray is now mandatory. However, I really love the way everything like sort of blends and looks even more natural. And I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2. This is uh, their second formula for the same product, which is supposed to be much better than the first. All right, guys, I've applied a little bit of makeup. Well, not a little bit, but, you know, it's actually not that much that I've applied on my eyes, but I really like this uh, whole situation that I have on my eyes. I filmed this and it's going to be already on my IG when I'm posting this video on YouTube. So please check out my Instagram page. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It will mean a lot to me and it will show me uh, also what kind of content you'd like to see. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. In the description box, you're going to find a link for my clothes. This is actually an overall. And then you will also find a link for my earrings. I know a lot of people love these and I love them as well. They're just so cool looking and they transform every single one of my outfits. I love these earrings. So check out the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Guys, you're going to hear this 
sound. The most skin. No. <sighs> Meet Alfie. Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy.